out there, YouTube. This is SEL0320 representing JVS. I got here the man, Melvin. Son of Gaming is back. And he's here to do an unboxing with me for a really special movie premiere that is Batman Bad Freaking Blood. Welcome back, Melvin. Thanks for hey. being here, bro. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, anytime, man. Um, so, Bad Blood. We meet, well, me and Joe went to New York Comic Con. We saw like the already special footage for it before it even came out. We thought it looked really interesting. Having Batwoman included into it as well as Batwing, I thought that it had the potential to be really good. Uh, but my personal opinions was that it was really entertaining. It was really engaging. They brought it. It was a lot better than I think than Batman versus Robin uh, in a lot of different ways and some of the Batman. But I think that I can't wait to see where they're going to go next with Justice League versus the Teen Titans. And you thought it was pretty entertaining for the most part. You enjoyed it, right? Yeah, it was, it was pretty entertaining. And so we're about to give y'all this unboxing, but this is not just a regular unboxing. This actually has within it um, a figurine and a hardcover graphic novel within it. And so as normal, which we, every time we do the unboxings, we do it with two different screens. So I'm going to go and change it over to this phone and you'll be able to see my personal view on that. And then we'll go back and just talk about was this something that was worth buying, which we actually got from Best Buy. So I'm gonna let, let's go ahead and start up. We're gonna start the unboxing right now. Or, actually I'll let you do it. No, you I want it. you to be that honors. Your guest here. All right, Melvin's about to open this up and we'll probably just slit it from that point and then go there. And here we go on camera two now. Oh. You're ducking. Ooh, some nice artwork right there. It looks like more combat words though. <laughs> Alright, so let's see the front. Alright, we got Nightwing at the front, gift set, limited edition, number edition. So let's look at the bottom of it. It should be a number at the very bottom. So at the bottom, we got limited edition number uh, 39,000 out of 62,000, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's check out the back, Nova. Let's see what's behind it. So on it, it actually has includes a 144-page hardcover graphic novel, which I'm intrigued about, as well as the exclusive Blu-ray and the HD version, as well as a sneak preview of Justice League: the Teen Titans. So let's go ahead and open it up from the top. See what's in this thing. Lord, there goes Best Buy with their terrible packaging. I'm just playing. <laughs> No, I'm playing. <laughs> All right, so inside, let's see what we got. So we can take everything out. There we go. So we got a figurine at the top. It's got Nightwing himself. It actually looks pretty dope, actually. I have to put him up over there with the rest of them. So we'll put that to the side. Make sure not to drop it. Yeah, shoot. And then inside, we've got the actual Blu ray set. Um, it looks like, oh, I can't even see it. There you go. Same thing, basically, it's just got the Blu-ray, but it does have the DVD and HD version, which I'm not going to go into that and actually show you anything inside, because normally you don't have much inside. Um, so, it's, I like the cover art, though. I think that the picture is pretty awesome looking, and that's all we got from that. And then the last thing that was inside of the set is right there, which this is right here is the money grabber. Oh my gosh, the battle for the cow. Um, Tony S. Daniel, I actually have the collection of this, like all three comics. So let's uh, open it up real quick. Oh, snap. Nothing but blackness. <laughs> and at the front, of course, you got Nightwing because he's about to unfold his newest destiny as becoming the Dark Knight himself. So I think that's pretty awesome. Let's flip through some of the pages, though. Let's see if it's pretty detailed. I wish it was a little bit bigger, um, but it actually looks just as genuine as when I actually bought the comic. So I actually really like that. Is there anything on the back of um, the, the hard book? So on the hard book, they've got, wow, Huntress, Katana, Wildcat, Batman is dead. And if any of y'all don't know from reference, this is an awesome comic that happened right before, I think, Batman 500, um, where Batman did die. And then the, there's a passing of the torch for the cow. So that was everything that was in the set. Uh, turn off camera two now. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you think about, I guess, the money for this, the, the amount of money that I actually paid for it was actually $27.99 at Best Buy. 
Um, there's another set where you get this with the figurine, but you don't get the graphic novel for $27.99. So I think it was a steal. To get the whole graphic novel, I think that's a really good deal. But I think that after Sunday, it's going to go back up to about $35. But what are your personal take on, I guess, this set? Would you buy this? I mean, yeah, for, for the money you paid, this is, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a nice uh, collectible item right there. Yeah, I think this is this is so detailed, man. Like, why don't they come out with more hard books like this? Because I think the size, I thought it would be too small. But this is something that I would read on a regular, man. I'm going to have to put this with my other collection. Yeah, and, I'm actually a little bit jealous about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I get this definitely just from the box set standpoint and even with the movie that I actually gave, I think, an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is, I give it an A. I think as far as a gift set, I think this would be a really good gift to get any Batman or DC fan. And even, like, having a sneak preview for Justice League versus the Teen Titans, I think this is all around a good buy. So definitely go and uh, check out the description bar below. I'll leave the link to the Best Buy link so you can actually go and purchase that if you want to. And uh, leave your comments. What do y'all thought about this unboxing? Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And me and Melvin will probably be back for something really soon. Yep. Melvin, you got anything else? <clears throat> um, nah, that, that was it. All right, y'all. Deuces. We'll be back. Peace.